Kiora guys and uh, welcome back to a brand new week and uh, online story time with me. So what have you guys been up to on the weekend? Did you eat lots of chocolate? I know I thought I'd eat lots of chocolate but I didn't so I'll have to go get some more because it's reduced prices <laughs> which is the best thing about Easter. Anyways I hope you guys all had a lovely weekend and now we're back to a brand new week and it's a short week too because we got um we got a long weekend which is quite nice so who remembers their moldy colors so we've got our red rectangle our yellow square green circle do you guys remember what this one was so half of it's a triangle the full thing, however, is a, who remembers, diamond. Good job, guys. Um, then we've got our orange, and can anyone remember what this shape was? It's kind of like a stretched out circle. It's called an oval. Well done for those who remembered. Now, I've just found some magnets around. Um, that kind of go with the colors and I've got this orange highlighter to go with our orange one But who remembers what red is and moldy the color? It's fiddle and then yellow is Ko-Fi our green is Kakariki our orange is Karaka and our blue is kind of, this is the probably the longest and trickiest one, Kiko Rami. So, should we do it one more time? What was red? Ferro. Well done. Yellow. Kofi. Good job. Green. Kakariki. Well done, guys. I hope you're repeating after me. Orange is Karaka. And blue, Kiko Rami. Well done! So, Ferro, Kofi, Kakariki, Karaka, and Kiko Rangi. Well done! So, I want to see, when you guys go for your walks, or uh, even just around the house, I want to see you pick up things that are Ferro, or Kiko Rangi, or Karaka. So, I want you to find things, and I'll do it in my next video. I'll find some things around my house, because... The weather's turned a bit. Hey, it's a bit stormy, so you never know whether you go out for a walk and get caught in the rain. So if you cannot go for a walk today, um, I'm sure you can find things around the house that are these colours. And you can um, tag me in your um, Instagram posts to see, so I can see what you guys found. Because it might give me some ideas. But for now, I've got some Fido, a Fido magnet, a Ko-Fi magnet. A Kakariki magnet, a Kigorangi one, and a Karaka highlighter. So, that's what I've just found, <laughs> just like that. Um, but I'm also kind of wearing Karaka orange, but it's kind of like an orangey red. So it's kind of like a Ferro plus Karaka. It's a bit colder today, so I thought I'd put on a jumper. But it's a nice colour. So, right, what we're really here for, I'm like, story time. <clears throat> Our story today is... This is Our House by Michael Rosden and Bob Graham. Now, this is a story you guys all know and we've read it um, recently with our um, topic being about houses. So, I hope you guys can remember bits and pieces of it. Right. George was in a house. This house is mine and no one else is coming in, George said. This is not your house, George, said Lindy. It belongs to everybody. No, it doesn't, said George. This house is all for me. Hmm. Not very nice, is it? George doesn't sound like much of a good friend. Lindy and Marley went over for a walk over to the swings. It's not George's house, is it, said Lindy. Of course it isn't, said Marley. Marley and Lindy looked through the window. It's not your house, George, and we're coming in. Oh, no, you're not, said George. This house isn't for girls. Huh. Not very nice, is it? Poor oh, Lindy and Marley. What are they going to think of it? 
Freddy was walking past with his remedy. I've come to put remedy to bed, said Freddy. You can't, said George. This house isn't for small people like you. Hmm. Not very nice at all. Freddy took Rabbity for a ride in the car. Charlene and Marlene mended the front wheel. George won't let me and Rabbity in the house, said Freddy. So Charlene and Marlene, Freddy and Rabbity headed straight for the house. Stop right there, said George. Hmm, what's he going to say, do you reckon? Do you think he's going to say, yep, everybody come in? Or do you think he's going to say, go away? Hmm. We're coming in to mend the fridge said Charlene and Marlene. Oh, no, you're not, said George. This house isn't for twins. Oh, dear. Looks like he's pushing her away. Oh, not nice at all. What do you think this top thing up here is for, you guys? I wonder. Maybe we'll find out, or maybe we'll leave it up to the imagination. I think it may be to summon aliens from different planets. Or it could be to call the space station. It could be for so many things. Right. Luther's jumbo jet landed in the house. He went to fetch it. Uh, where do you think you're going, said George. Flight 509 has cra 505 has crashed, said Luther. And I'm in coming in for the rescue. Fire, fire, ew, ew. You're not coming in here, said George. Ooh. And he shoves him out too. Crikey. What's he doing? Luther radioed for help. Calling Dr. Sophie, calling Dr. Sophie. Can I help you, said Sophie. We can't get at the plane, Doctor, said Luther. Leave it to me, said Sophie. Sophie and Luther pushed past the crowds. Make way for the Doctor, said Luther. We're coming in, said Sophie. Oh, no you're not, said George. This house isn't for people with glasses. Oh dear, people with glasses. He's really picky, isn't he? Ooh, poor Sophie. Rashida had a plan. I'm going to tunnel in. She poked her head under the house. <gasps> Go away, said George, this is my house. Well, this is my tunnel, said Rashida. Well, tunnel somewhere else, said George. This house isn't for people who like tunnels. Hmm. It was a good idea though, wasn't it? Very good. Let's see what happens. Is someone else going to tunnel in or fly in, do you reckon? It was getting quite noisy around the house now and hot. And George wanted to go to the toilet. I'm going to leave my house now, said George. And no one can go in it when I'm gone. George went to the toilet. <laughs> do you think everybody listened? I wouldn't have listened, that's for sure. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Lindy, Marley, Freddy, Rabbity, Marlene, Charlene, Luther, Sophie and Rashida went straight into the house. George came back. There was no room for George. This house isn't for people with red hair, said Charlene. Oh dear. They're getting grumpy now. George began to shout. George began to cry. George began to stamp his feet and kick the wall. He stopped and looked. This house is for people with red hair, said George. And for girls and small people and twins and people who wear glasses and like tunnels. Mm, he's changing his tactics now, isn't he? Because, shouted Lindy, Marlene, Freddie, Charlene. Marlene, Luther, Sophie and Rashida. This house is for everyone. The end. Yeah, right, right in the middle trying to fix the house. And then it shows you on the back them trying to fix it. Yeah, because that house is for everyone, right? You won't make friends if you don't let everyone come in, eh? Gotta let everyone come in, because everyone should be your friend. Alright guys, stay tuned for tomorrow's um, video. And remember your Māori colours, because I might be adding some more soon. 
So stay tuned and I hope you find some things around the house that go with these colours. Right, bye.